Hey guys, how's it going? Um, welcome in here to uh, to Rover Sports, guys. I hope everybody is having a, a good day and uh, going to um, going to look at Dwayne Haskins and his tape right here. So, uh, without any further ado, further with a F U R T H E R. Uh, let's get into uh, get into Haskins. I don't know how to shut off the messages for now. There's a group chat that I'm a part of on YouTube, and uh, I have to do this on screen record. So that's that's a uh, that's a really good throw there by Haskins. Um, let's see if I can wish I can do something with this chat. Hold on. There it is. Muted the notifications, baby. All right, here we go. Good throw by Haskins. I watched this tape earlier today. Good throw underneath. A lot of screens. This is excellent right here. Watch this play by Haskins. Butter in the biscuit right there, baby. Watch this play. Haskins. Can't slow this down, but at the top of the drop right here, it's beautiful how his top of the drop, his base is, is, is set. It's very good base. And the thing that Haskins does here is he's able to look off certain guys and then he throws with anticipation. The linebacker right here is looking at Haskins' eyes, but Haskins contorts his arm over, leads his receiver beautifully right here. This is an excellent, excellent throw in between the zone defense. Dwayne Haskins, feet are on time, throws on time, very in sync, excellent, excellent throw. You can see it again. Top of the drop, you see the hole right there, hole shot, bam. Shout out again to Caddy to the Llama. Um, Caddy to the Llama is a guy on YouTube that makes this all possible with, with putting uh, the clips out from the game, so he does great. Good quick decision by Haskins because he sees the guy coming right into his face. Easy throw into the bucket. Climbs nicely, throws under duress. Does it climbs, climbs, throws under duress, accurate ball. Tape is looking. He's sharp so far. Very sharp to start off the game. And in this game, he did get mauled by Purdue. But keep in mind, they had no running game whatsoever. Urban Meyer, you don't know what's going to happen with Urban. All the rumors are swirling around. And the defense, Greg Schiano, totally sucks. And um, he was horrible. And I'm so happy Tennessee didn't hire Schiano because Schiano and the defense sucks. And Greg Schiano is atrocious. Here, I don't like this from Haskins because he's running. He just needs to stay put in the pocket. There's no need for him to go. But again, this is college tape. You're not going to be perfect. And everybody's covered up anyway. But yeah, this is a good throw. Everything's in sync by Haskins. Everything's in sync. Like, very good footwork. Um, this throw just needs to be thrown with more arc. And it's I've seen Haskins make this throw plenty of times. There's plenty of arm strength on that ball. Just simply just put a little air under it and he would add a touchdown. But I'm not concerned with that. And then he comes right back here and he makes these out. Th this is a tough throw, hash to hash. And he makes this look easy. He makes this look easy. See how Haskins doesn't give away where he's going with the ball either? This guy is just such a natural thrower of the ball. He is so impressive on this tape. This is brilliant. What a brilliant pass. And this is the one game Ohio State lost, and he was still brilliant. Here he needs to drive this ball. That's too much float. I've seen Haskins drive it. Fading away a little bit. His feet can get a tiny bit quicker here. See how he's not in sync with his feet? One step drop, ball needs to be out, and he's fading away because it just needs to be more velocity, and it's a touchdown. He hangs it up and lets the defender come back. Drive it to the corner, it's a touchdown, but he can make that throw. He can make that throw. There, there's several other great plays that Haskins make. Here he gets pressure, tries to escape. Third and seven, here we go. This is, this is I think, a dime on third and seven. It is. Off coverage, he'll eat you alive. 
easy throw, great protection from Ohio State, but that was just, I mean, this guy can really spin the rock. That's a perfect throw. Pins it on the guy. Best throw of the game right here. Empty rusher comes. 25 is late getting to him. Haskins then steps up into the pocket, creates his own lane. Look at this right here. This is so impressive. This is how you know if a quarterback has balls or not. Because guess what? He gets popped. He gets lit up. And he still hangs in there and makes a big-time play for a first down. Gets lit up. 12-yard ball right on the money. Something your, your teammates want to see you do as well. So a lot of underneath stuff. But again, there's no running game. So the guy has to throw the entire game. Pretty good ball. Not perfect, but pretty good. And there he just wanted to be safe. That was not a good throw by Haskins. But again, he threw the ball, I think, 76 times in this game. Some absurd number because there's no running game at all. Feet are fine. Everything's fine. He just wanted to leave that out because he, McLaurin didn't have a lot of separation. This guy has such a live arm. This guy, like, he might not be able to throw the ball like 60, 70 yards, but this is what, what I like about arm strength is live arm, and this guy has live arm. Like Daniel Jones, it would take him a million miles. It would take him so long to get this throw to him. Dwayne Haskins has a great quick motion at the top of his drop, and that throwing motion is such a quick motion. And this is one of my favorite throws that he's had all day because he generates great velocity. He, he's perfectly on base right here. And then look, Dwayne Haskins there really steps into the throw. It's really unbelievable how this guy has such a live arm. He reminds me of Matthew Stafford, Dwayne Haskins. When I watch this tape, he reminds me of a Stafford because Stafford has the ability to make incredible throws as well. And you can see this from this end zone angle. This guy is such a talented, talented player at the quarterback position. Uh, it's amazing to me why people think like Josh Allen uh, would be drafted ahead of this guy. It's amazing to me that people think that Sam Darnold, that Josh Rosen would, would have all been drafted. I get Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield's a star. He won rookie of the year. But uh, this is not a good throw from Dwayne Haskins. Sometimes he fails to see the coverage a little bit. Here they drop underneath. And there the linebacker pretty much fooled Haskins right there. So a couple of times that's a concern. But overall, it's it, it's something that can be taught. And look, this is far hash. So the, even though this throw is is, is is 10 yards, it's more like 20, it's more like a 20 yard throw because you're throwing from the middle of the field to the far hash. That is such a difficult NFL throw. This is such an NFL throw on tape unbelievable and then he throws in this dime with touch leads his receiver perfectly up the sideline such a dime good angle right here dime again sometimes he fails to notice certain things in defenses and here versus pressure, he he didn't do a great job IDing the blitzer, so that 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 one kind of sailed on him. Understandably so. Here, I mean, here it was, it's a good touch throw, actually. Because he's throwing it good anticipation here, because again, he's throwing it to a spot, and the guy has his back turned, so it's good. Good accurate throw. Receiver has an opportunity here to make a play. It could have been with a little more velocity. And I want to see him get more in tuned with his receiver because his receiver needs to cut off that route earlier and come back and make this play for his quarterback. That's in the guy's hand. Really good play by the corner there, not giving up. Excellent defense. But a pretty good throw by Haskins. See if the picture can get a little bit clearer. It's a little bit blurry. 
Just like puddle of mud. Everything's so blurry. But watch this play right here. This is a whole shot. This is Stafford-esque. This is unbelievable. If you guys can still see this, this is an absolute pellet. I love this second level throw by Haskins. He gets the it, very wise too in his game. Look at this. Look at this little hit right here. The little hit and then I got ya. The hit and then I got ya. See that hitch right there? Oh, that hitch is unbelievable. Hitch right there. I got ya. Bam. <laughs> Ball's coming out hot. <laughs> This guy is unbelievable on tape, man. This is great tape. What a throw that is. That's frozen. That rope is frozen, my friends. Not even a bad throw off his back foot. See, off the back foot gives this guy a chance. Plays aggressively. Aggressive and confident. Look at that. Not going to get suckered in. Produce playing everybody off. Still makes this difficult throw look so routine. He could just stretch the field and, and look at that. That's excellent. He gets the ball out of his hands so quickly, so accurate underneath. Haskins really has some great throws in this game, guys. But this is such a long tape. This is this is all like 70 throws. So here the one thing about Haskins, maybe he's throwing into the wind here. We don't know because it's West Lafayette on a Saturday night. It looks like the wind catches this football. Because I know Haskins could throw it about 60 yards in the air. And, and there it looks like the wind just causes it to die down. Now the one thing is Locke can probably throw it about maybe 5 to 10 yards further than Haskins. But Haskins' arm, he has such a live arm. And at this point in the game too, I mean how many throws? He's probably like on like throw 35 because there's no running game at all. So think about how difficult that is. You're playing the whole game and there's no running game to speak of. So you're gonna, if you're throwing it 35 times, you're gonna have some ugly plays. And this is just disgusting offense to watch because there's no running game. So you're not helping out the quarterback at all. But look, this guy still has juice late. You know a Verlander can be in the ninth inning and still throw 99? This guy has juice. This is juice. Juice. Juice and patience in the pocket. Look at this. Patience, juice. Look, he eyes up the middle of the field. Timing is unbelievable. What do you think about that sucker right there? How hard of a throw is that to make away from the safety? <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. Oh, and to think that this guy is worse than Rosen and Darnold and Josh Allen. Josh Allen cannot show this kind of consistency. I mean, uh, they act like Dwayne Haskins. They act, they say that quarterback class is horrible and Dwayne Haskins last year wouldn't have been a first round pick. That's what they say. J just think about this like this because I don't know what tape they're watching because this throw is unbelievable. They say he didn't even belong in last year's draft class. What a joke. This guy is already just as good. Other than Baker Mayfield, who's already a superstar, this guy can absolutely contend with last year's guys. He's right there with last year's guys. He's right there with Josh Allen. Look at how he IDs everything, throws with anticipation to an absolute spot. This is about a 30-yard throw. Make it 38 yards because it's a far hash play. I mean, that's just poetry. Poetry in motion. Uh, we're going to get a late touchdown, too. It wasn't Dwayne's fault they lost. Their defense blew it. This guy's a good thrower of the ball, man. Good, elite thrower of the ball. Here late in the game, though, he's getting sloppy. So one thing about Haskins is, yes, he needs to ID defenses better. Here, the defense fools him again. But again, he's throwing the ball 40 times. He's down 28 to 6. He's tired. It's West Lafayette. He's only a sophomore playing the game of football. But look, Dwayne Haskins is still out here playing the game. And he's so good at hitting those little crossing routes. That's where he's really elite. And that's why Pat Shermer would like Dwayne Haskins. 
Look at him step up there, but that that's not a good throw. Two consecutive bad throws right here. But again, we have to weed through all this stuff because again, this is it's so late in the tape. I mean, there's so much tape. Fourth and five, down 28 to six. Now it's a little bit of garbage time. But the thing I like about Haskins is even on these short throws, he's very precise. He steps up so nicely there. He has good footwork. That's what I really like about Haskins. Very good footwork. His eye discipline is pretty damn good as well. He's, he's looking, he's reading the coverage. He's actually reading the coverage out there. And I think we're going to get a long, easy touchdown eventually. Yep. I rest my case. I mean, this is just perfect tape. I mean, I'm so glad you guys get to see how good Dwayne Haskins can be for an NFL franchise. Now, the thing about Haskins is, again, let's let's keep let, let let's keep him grounded keep him off social media or he can be on social media but will he win everybody over in the locker room he's a young kid social media is is very prevalent to the kid and um if he if he if he puts the work in and if he's a guy that can really relate to the offensive lineman uh this guy is going to be a super super special quarterback at the nfl level this guy is going to be a very very good player for a long time because on the field this guy does unbelievable things he has great arm strength that's the one thing i got from this video the one thing i learned today about dwayne haskins very live arm the other thing i learned about him is hash to hash he's very very good he's reading defenses he's not afraid to take a hit he battles even when he's losing games. Um, my concerns sometimes are against pressure. Sometimes he'll get a little nervous and resort to back uh, to backing up. He he needs to ID linebackers better. He does need to ID the linebackers better. But overall, I couldn't have enjoyed the tape more. And this is a game that he lost, so I wasn't expecting a ton. Overall, watching the tape, I'm giving this tape like a 9.2 out of 10. I'm I'm very impressed by everything that Haskins showed. And he definitely has potential to be a very good quarterback in the NFL. He has the tools on the field. It's just off the field, will Dwayne Haskins put everything together? Will this guy be the leader? Will he put in the work? And that's something you have to evaluate when you evaluate quarterbacks is, is, is this guy going to go in the locker room and is this guy going to own that locker room? Is this guy going to elevate people just like Baker Mayfield did last year, just like Dak Prescott, Deshaun Watson, Mahomes, Drew Brees, the great ones do. So, all righty, guys, I had a lot of fun making this vid. Uh, I got more Haskins coming up, even some special film reviews coming up uh, in, in a while. So take care, y'all. Peace.